So hello guys welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today in this video we will be continuing our video series on distillation and particularly in this video we will be discussing about steam distillation. In this video we will be covering what is steam distillation, its construction, working of steam distillation followed by we will be discussing the advantages and disadvantages of steam distillation and at the end we will be discussing about the application of steam distillation. So guys let's get started. First of all, and the starting of the video, we will be looking at what is steam distillation. So guys, steam distillation is a specialized technique within the broader category of distillation. It is primarily employed for extraction of essential oil from the plants. Unlike the simple distillation, steam distillation utilizes steam to facilitate the separation of volatile components and resulting in more efficient extraction process. So guys, steam distillation is a category of distillation which focuses or is used when we need to extract the essential oils from the plants. In steam distillation, steam is used to facilitate the volatile component making them more energized and which results in more efficient extraction process. Ok guys, now we will be looking at the construction of steam distillation. In the construction of steam distillation, it comprises of various parts or various components from which the first is the boiling flask. This is where the mixture to be distilled is placed and it should have a flat bottom to ensure even heating. The flask is often made of heat resistant glass. Okay. The second component is distillation head. This distillation head is connected to the boiling flask and contains a thermometer to monitor the temperature of the vapor. It also has a joint for attaching the condenser. Then guys, the next component which is the heart of the distillation which is condenser. The condenser cools the vapors causing it to condense back into the liquid form. It's typically a type of heat exchanger. Cold water or coolant circulates around the condenser to facilitate the condensation. Then guys, the next component is the receiver or separatory funnel. This object or this component collects the distillate. Distillate is the liquid which is collected after condensation and it also allows for separation of immiscible liquids for example the essential oil and water and guys one more important component for this assembly is the heating source this can be a bunsen burner or a hot plate or any other heat source that can provide control heating to the boiling flask so guys these were the components which are required for the construction of assembly for steam distillation now we will be discussing about the construction steps. To assemble this whole assembly, we should begin by setting up the heating source and positioning the boiling flask on it. After which, we need to connect the boiling flask to the distillation head and securing it in a place and don't forget to attach the thermometer to monitor the temperature. We also need to extend the setup by connecting the distillation head to the condenser. And further, we need to link the condenser to the receiver or separatory funnel for collecting the distilled liquids. We also need to pay a close attention to ensure all the joints are tightly sealed and preventing any unwanted vapor leaks. We also need to enhance the condensation process by adding water to the condenser and we need to introduce the substance which is to be distilled into the boiling flask. After introducing the substance in the boiling flask, it is made to be gradually heat and carefully monitor the temperature to prevent overheating. We need to witness the volatile component, transforming it into the vapor and moving through the condenser. We also need to observe as the condenser facilitates the return of the vapor to its liquid state. And finally, we need to collect the separated components in the receiver. This completes the steam distillation process. So guys, this was a brief about the construction of steam distillation. Now up next, we will be discussing about the working of steam distillation. In the working of steam distillation, a round bottomed flask containing the mixture to be distilled is placed on the heating element. Then a water cooled condenser is attached to the flask and a receiving flask is positioned at the other end of the condenser. Then the water is heated in a separate container and steam is generated. The steam is then passed into the mixture in the round bottom flask. This steam heats the mixture causing the volatile component to vaporize. Means this steam provides the energy to the volatile component and makes them vaporize. The vapor consists of a desired volume of volatile components along with the steam. Now guys, the vaporized components 
along with the steam enters the water cooled condenser where the condenser cools the vapor causing it to condense back into the liquid now the pure volatile components which we want are condensed into a liquid state and now we need to collect it back the condensed liquid now a mixture of water and volatile components flows into the receiving flask since the volatile compounds are immiscible with water they form a distinct layer on the top of the water means here we will have a liquid liquid separation the upper layer containing the desired volatile compounds is collected separately and this isolated liquid is the essential oil or the volatile compounds of interest okay guys in summary steam distillation utilizes steam to vaporize extract the volatile compounds from a mixture offering a gentle method for isolating the heat sensitive substance like the essential oils guys i hope this working of steam distillation is clear to you now after the working of steam distillation we are moving towards the advantages and disadvantages of steam distillation first of all we will be looking at the advantages of steam distillation the first advantage of steam distillation is efficient extraction steam distillation is effective for extracting volatile compounds without exposing them to high temperature which leads to efficient extraction process the second advantage is preservation of fragrance in steam distillation the lower temperature helps to retain the delicate flavors and aromas of the extracted substances leading to prevention of fragrance from getting deteriorated okay guys the third advantage is versatility the steam distillation is suitable for extracting the essential oil from a variety of plant material okay so these were the three main advantages of steam distillation now moving on towards the disadvantages in disadvantages of steam distillation the first is not suitable for all compounds some compounds may decompose or lose their potential during steam distillation because of the energy of the steam okay the second disadvantage is time consuming this process of steam distillation can relatively be slow and especially for large scale productions so it is a time consuming process and the third disadvantage is energy intensive here in the case of steam distillation continuous steam generation requires a significant energy input which leads to this process as overall energy intensive process so guys these were the three main disadvantages of steam distillation now at the end of this video we will be looking at the applications of steam distillation guys the three major applications of steam distillation are as follows from which the first is the aromatherapy steam distillation is widely used in the production of essential oil from aromatherapy and perfumery okay then the second advantage is of herbal medicine where the extraction of medical compounds from herbs and plants are done with the help of steam distillation and guys the last application is of food industry where the extracting flavors and fragrance for use in the food and beverage industries okay guys so these were some of the applications where steam distillation is used so guys that's all for this video on steam distillation where we discuss about what is steam distillation it's working its components its advantages disadvantages and at the end we discuss about the application of steam distillation so guys that's all for this video thank you for watching and for more videos related to chemical engineering process engineering chemical safety industrial safety you can subscribe to this channel and guys as always feel free to leave any questions or comment down below thanks for watching and see you in next video